Mafia Murders, 100 Kills That Changed the Mob by M.A. Frasca delves into the tumultuous and violent history of the Mafia by recounting 100 homicides that left indelible marks on the criminal underworld. The book meticulously examines these assassinations, detailing the motives, methods, and consequences of each, and provides insight into the complex workings of organized crime. The killings profiled span across decades, illustrating a timeline of how mafia power struggles and vendettas have shaped and redefined the operations within various crime families. These murders, often brutal in nature, were usually meticulously planned and executed, with the understanding that each would serve as a message of power or retaliation. Early on, the book highlights murders that were instrumental in the establishment of the Mafia's presence in America. As immigrant families searched for their place, disputes arose, territory was carved out, and the foundation of organized crime hierarchies was laid. Here, the assassinations were often about gaining or retaining control within the burgeoning underworld, as seen in the killing of leaders or rivals who threatened a family's dominance. As the Mafia's influence expanded, so did the reasons for these killings. Some murders were acts of vengeance for perceived slights or betrayals. Others were a means of eliminating threats, whether they were from law enforcement infiltrators, informants, or from within the family itself, those who were deemed too ambitious or rebellious. M.A. Frasca pays particular attention to the high-profile mob executions that became known to the public, often drawing immense media attention. Such killings sometimes involved notorious figures whose deaths signified a pivotal shift in the power dynamics of the Mafia. For instance, the assassination of a well-known boss could lead to internal chaos and a power vacuum, often resulting in a bloody war for succession. The author also examines the nuanced and sometimes surprising implications these murders had on the Mafia's operations. Some led to stricter codes of conduct within families, compelling mobsters to adhere to an even more rigid set of rules and oaths of silence. Others prompted innovative ways of conducting business to avoid detection by authorities, such as adopting more sophisticated methods of communication or diversifying criminal activities. Another critical aspect explored is how these murders resulted in increased scrutiny from law enforcement. High-profile killings often spurred sweeping investigations and crackdowns, which in turn forced the mafia to evolve. The mob became more concealed and more deeply entrenched in legitimate businesses to mask criminal endeavors. Frasca reveals that at the heart of many mafia murders was a fundamental struggle for control, be it over territories, illegal markets, or the hierarchy within the families themselves. The killings were rarely random, instead serving calculated purposes, sending a signal or tidying up loose ends. They frequently triggered cycles of retaliation that sustained the myths and fears around the Mafia's ruthlessness. As the narrative moves into more contemporary times, the book discusses how the changing landscape of crime and shifts in social attitudes affected the ways and reasons for Mafia killings. The rise of technology, surveillance capabilities, and the impact of law enforcement tactics such as the racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations, RICO, ACT made the hits of the modern era increasingly risky and less frequent. Moreover, Frasca touches on how internal strife within families became more prevalent, particularly as the younger generation of mobsters, not always respecting the old ways, sought to make their names known. This generational shift sometimes led to botched hits or unnecessary attention from the public and the authorities, counterproductive to the Mafia's clandestine nature. In these latter stages, Casualties among the higher echelons often led to quicker unraveling of families, with lesser emphasis on the traditional values of honor and loyalty that once defined the mob. In several cases, these killings exposed the depth of corruption and connections with politics and legitimate businesses, revealing a web of influence that extended far beyond the underworld. Throughout Mafia Murders, 100 Kills That Changed the Mob, the author maintains a focus on the human aspect behind these events. The personal stories of those involved, their backgrounds, aspirations, and their often inevitable downfalls are not neglected. The psychological impact on those ordered to kill 
as well as the families of the victims, serves to remind the reader of the very real and tragic consequences of these criminal enterprises. The narrative eventually posits that, while the Mafia still exists, the frequency and significance of these ritualistic killings have diminished. Through the combination of internal decay and robust law enforcement efforts, what once were defining moments in the ongoing saga of organized crime have become less common, with mob families either adapting to the times or fading into obscurity. In concluding, Mafia Murders, 100 Kills That Changed the Mob, serves not just as a catalog of organized crime's most pivotal homicides, but also as a mirror to the evolution of the Mafia. Frasca's recounting provides insight into how these individual acts of violence have collectively written the history of the mob, embedding a legacy of fear, respect, and ultimately, an enduring public fascination. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.